What's up you guys? I'm Tatiana. This is my ball python dipper and in today's video we will be showing you exactly how to set up your very own Zen Habitats enclosure. Eventually I will be converting this enclosure to a completely bioactive setup so if you're interested in seeing something like that be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's not waste any time. The first thing we need to do is pull everything out of the box it came in. Make sure you have your smaller box of connector pieces somewhere you can easily access it because we'll need all of them pretty soon. We're going to start by building the bottom of the enclosure. To do that, we'll have to pull out two of the longer 46 inch aluminum frames. We need one of the frames to have one channel running down two sides and the other frame will have one channel on one side and two channels on the other side. This is the part that holds the sliding doors. We will also need two of the shorter 22 inch aluminum frames. Both of these should have one channel running down two sides. The last thing we'll need is four of the connector pieces. Push one of the connectors into the shorter 22 inch frame piece. It's really important that the fingers of your connector piece are facing the same direction as the channels of your aluminum frame. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side of that piece. Now you want to take one of the longer frame pieces and attach that as well, making sure that all of the channels are facing the same direction. Sometimes the connectors will slide together nicely and other times you might need a rubber mallet to get them to fit. Attach the other long frame piece in the same way. Once you have three sides, you can slide in the large PVC board. It should be the solid sheet with no holes in it. We'll talk about the other PVC board a bit later. Take your last short frame piece and attach the last two connectors on either end. Always remember to keep the fingers of the connector pieces pointing the same way as the channels of your frame. Lock your PVC board in place by attaching the last frame piece. Now that the bottom of our tank is done, let's work on the sides. Find a short frame piece that's labeled left door frame and attach it to the front left side of your enclosure. You'll know it's the front because that frame has two channels where the sliding doors will go. Next, find the right door frame and do the same thing on that side. Once the front door frames are on, you can find two more of the shorter frame pieces and attach them to the back corners of the enclosure. Take the smaller PVC boards and slide them into the side channels of your enclosure. Finally, the last PVC board can slide into the back of your enclosure. This is the board with the hole in it and you can choose to use one of the two grommets that are provided. Use this one if you want to run wires through the inside of your tank, or this one if you want to keep it closed off. If you're getting a bit tired like I was during this build, now is a great time to take a break. Drink some water, take a walk, or take a peek through one of these aluminum frames to see an awesome color prism. Wow! I wonder, did Zen Habitats know this would happen? When you're feeling a bit better, it's time to finish this enclosure build. We need to build the top of our enclosure, and for that, we'll need the last four aluminum pieces. The longer pieces should include one with one channel on either side, and one with two channels on one side, and one channel on the other. The shorter frames will both have one channel on each side. Start with one of the side pieces and attach the plastic connectors to both sides. Make sure the channels and the fingers are facing the same direction. Then attach the two longer frames to both sides. One of the longer frames will include the top door frame, which will have the Zen Habitats logo in the corner. So the next step is sliding the screen right into the frame. When you do this, make sure the support bars are on the same side as the channels of your frame. Then take your last frame piece with the connectors attached and lock that screen in place. Finally, we can attach the top to the rest of the enclosure. Press the connector pieces in to the rest of the frame. You might have to use a rubber mallet for this. The enclosure is done, but it still needs the doors. The two doors are covered in protective paper, which is really obnoxious to peel off. This is 800 times speed, and we had to do this four times, so yeah. Also, my doors came with a huge scratch in one of them. I'm kind of bummed about that. Once you have all the paper off of your doors, you can attach the handles. 
Then you can slide your doors into the channels starting with the back door first. There you have it, your Zen Habitat's enclosure should be complete. If you're going bioactive, they include a substrate shield and some double-sided tape to attach to the front of your enclosure. That way, when you open the doors, all your substrate doesn't come falling out. Honestly, I'll probably end up using silicon, because tape sounds a little bit sketchy to me. Well, that's all Dipper and I have for you guys today. I hope this video helped you set up your very own Zen Habitats enclosure, and if you're interested in seeing that bioactive conversion, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.